hey welcome back to the channel hope you're doing well so i'm still working on growing the channel to at least 500 subscribers so if you're not already subscribed please do so as we go through the video if you like the content please hit the like button with that let's dive in so this video is the answer to a comment i received on my last video and that was namely how did i change the color of my meters to look more like pro tools So as you see the color meter kind of goes up from green to yellow and if it's too hot it'll go up to just red like this so the first thing i'm going to do is go to options show reaper resource path and explorer slash finder i'm going to go to the color themes i already have a few themes that i've created in here what i'm looking for is the default seven reaper theme from this i'm going to just go ahead and duplicate it we do not want to modify the default so make sure you're making a copy of the file so that you're not modifying the default so as you see here i've made a copy of it this is now default 7.0 copy from here you have to change the extension so i click on it put a dot in between the theme and the zip do you want to use dot zip? Yes, I do. I change it. I double click it. Open the zip file. Now you see the folders that were inside the zip file. There's the unpacked folder, which includes all of the image files and then the actual theme. So there's going to be meter strip V and meter strip H. What I'm going to do is copy both of these. I go back into my default seven copy folder that we unzipped. I go to the unpacked. And again, since in this case, we've already copied the folder, we're not working off the original. Again, reminder, do not modify your original theme. Otherwise you would jack it up and you won't be able to go back to the original without, let's say like reinstalling Reaper. So I'm working off of the copy folder the meter strip files that I just copied, I'm just gonna paste them in here. In this case, I'm gonna replace them. I replace both files. Now that I've replaced both files, I'm going to zip this back up. So I'm selecting both the theme and the folder. Compress them or zip them back. Now I have the archive.zip. Now we just need to name the archive. Uh, in this case, let's name it something simple so that we understand what we're doing or what we have. So I'm going to call it default reaper. Let's say mod meters dot reaper theme zip save. Do you want to use reaper theme zip? Yes, we do. Now we have rezipped it back. From here, I'm just going to drag this back into my main folder. So I'm still in the color themes. You see that the folder we just created, where'd it go? Oh, sorry. Default seven mod meters dot reaper theme zip. If I go here, change my theme. Here it is. I switch it. If I hit play, you'll see the meter looks now more like the color scheme of Pro Tools. For the sake of the video, to make it quick, I have included in the description links to the theme that we just created as well as the meter strip files so that if you have a different theme and you just wanna import the meters yourself, you can do it following the same process that we just did, except you're gonna start from the theme that you want to change. 
So if you at all found this video helpful, I would appreciate it if you hit that like button. Appreciate you stopping by and until next time, peace.